welcome back to another episode of Sakura Succubus 3. We are back once again. Now, where we left off, we just, I'm guessing we're just literally getting out of work just now, because it's nighttime, so, um, we've been pretty much getting the same vibes from our boss and our co-workers, and we got to see Cosmos again. Ah, <sighs> it's good to see her again, but anyway, let's get back into it. Time passes in a blur. The working week crawls to a close, and before I know it, Friday evening is upon me. Oh wow, time's already went by, and okay, yeah, I was kinda correct. It'll be Saturday tomorrow. I promised I go out on a date with Cosmos, then a proper date. I'm not entirely sure where I'll take her though. It might be nice to go to the cafe where I can treat Cosmos to one of the immense full sugary desserts she seems to covet so much. But we've been on several cafe dates already. I don't want to bore her. I should try something new and it's exciting. Maybe we should go to the movies. Ugh. I think that new romantic comedy starring Fumi opens tomorrow, but it might be insensitive to take my girlfriend to see my other girlfriend who likes to call, who likes to call herself my wife, big on screen. Cosmos is one of the clingiest members of my retinue and I wouldn't want to hurt her feelings. I don't want to get to spend too much time with her as it is. I hate to spoil our date and let her down. The movie's probably out then, but what about a theme park? I don't think I've ever been there with Cosmos. Destiny Land isn't too far away. We'll get there on train. It shouldn't take too much of an hour. Destiny Land is a super popular theme park for children and adults alike. It has a whole bunch of rides. The staff members dress up like popular Destiny characters and there's parades and fireworks display. <sighs> Cosmos interests tend towards the cute and catsy so, I'm sure she'd love it. I might act dry and humorless, but I'm pretty fond of Des uh, Destiny Land. Though it's been years since I last went. Who doesn't love Destiny Land? It's a place of hopes, dreams, and magic. But it's also expensive. Can I afford two tickets on my merely salary? Jeez, I need to stop worrying. I'm supposed to be having fun on my date with Cosmos, not to fret over tiny details. I don't think it really matters where we go. I'm sure Cosmos will be happy regardless of what I choose. She's not very picky. It'll be fine, Hiroki, as long as I'm happy with you. I'm, I'll be happy as long as I'm with you. I'm sure that's what she'll say. That's a comfort. Though, she, there's a few other things I also worried about. Cosmos is famous. If I go anywhere too populated, we might attract attention. People will start snapping photos of us and then news of our relationship will spread across the internet like wildfire. It would be a huge scandal. People will find my address and start throwing eggs at my house, and Cosmo's reputation will be will plummet. She might lose all of her fans. I don't want that to happen. Maybe she can wear a disguise. Um, a pair of dark glasses, perhaps. Would anyone notice her then? Dating a celebrity, even an e-celeb like Cosmo's, is a lot of hard work. And I have to worry about this stuff with not just one, but five women. The mere thought of it is 
exhausted. I pressing, I yawned, pressing my, a hand against my mouth. Tears bed into my eyes. It's getting pretty late. It's already pitch black outside. I should probably hit the hay. I can't worry about what I want to do tomorrow. I sat down on my futon, sighing as the stress fades from my aching limbs. I feel light and fluffy, like I'm floating on a cloud. Within minutes, I felt I fall asleep. I'm so exhausted, I fully expected to sleep for hours and hours, but... Hey, Hideki. Mm? I can hear a voice. It's soft, sweet, and feminine. It sounds familiar. Wait a minute. Is Hazel back from her training? I completely forgot she literally comes by. Or that's probably Marina. I haven't seen her in a while, so it's probably Marina. So it's two guesses. Either it's Hazel or it's Marina. I'm only half awake, but I'm sure that's Cosmos. I didn't even realize she literally, I completely forgot. Cosmos hasn't been around my house and I completely forgot she's been here. God damn it. That's right. Good morning, Hiraki. It's nice to see you. <laughs> Good morning? I blink, wiping the sleep from my eyes and sit up. It's still pitch black outside and I know it's late before I glance at my alarm clock. It's not even 4 a.m. yet. Cosmos? I know, but I wanted to see you. I simply couldn't wait. I was so excited about our date, I couldn't. I didn't even get a single wink of sleep. It's been so long since I had you all to myself. I couldn't hold myself back. I'm not a bad girl, am I? No, I don't think so. It's a little inconvenient that she's so attached. I would have liked to get a couple of more hours of sleep at least, but I'd be too churlish sort of a man to rebuff Cosmos' affections. I know she means well. I'm flattered that you like me so much, Cosmos, but, but, what are you wearing? Now that I'm slightly awake, the unusualness of Cosmos' attire strikes me with full force. What is she wearing? She isn't wearing her pink holographic jacket and her criminally tight shorts, and neither is wearing her clingy succubus attire. What is she wearing? Like, should I even be surprised at this point? I, I, I really should not be, like, dude, what the fuck? God damn it, this girl. What? And you have that? She's playing games right now. She really is. <sighs> She's dressed up just like a bunny girl. Her curves are barely containing, contained by a skin tight leotard. The black leotard bears a few similarities of her succubus outfit, but I suppose it's slightly more modest. That's not saying all that much though. Cosmos has paired her leotards with a pair of black tights, which are every so slightly see-through. The curves of her hips are clearly defined as is the bulging of her full thighs. Her outfit has been capped off with a pair of floppy ears and a fluffy white tail. She looks utterly adorable. So you noticed, didn't you? It took you a little while. Maybe this isn't bold enough? Cosmos glanced down at her attire, her brow furrowed. I had a lot of other costumes back at home. I wear them due to my photo shoots for my Rapid Pound followers. 
I have a tight Chinese dress, a maid outfit, and a lot of swimsuits. I wasn't sure which one you would like the most, so I picked out one of my very favorites. But maybe this is too plain? What do you think, Hiroki? Oh no, it's not plain at all. I think it suits you perfectly. You do? Yeah, it clings onto you in the right places. I can see all your curves. Your chest it looks pretty great. And there's even a window. I can see your belly button. <laughs> That's super cute. <laughs> Cosmo giggles. I like that too. I think it's one of these outfits best features. <laughs> <laughs> Belly buttons are great and all, but they can't compare to a nice behind. In that regard, I think Hazel just might have you beaten. But you're both adorable in your own right. When it comes to pure lewdness, not even I can compete with Hazel. She's so shameless. <laughs> I would never go out in a skirt, not even wearing pants. This is the best I could do. I know I might not slack up to her, but do you think, do I do good? You did great. I give Cosmos a thumbs up. She beams and claps her hands together. Yay! Cosmos' cuteness have helped me forget for a few moments how tired I am, but a few questions still remain. Did you walk here in that outfit all the way from your home? I did, but don't worry. I wore a coat on top. No one should have seen. I've even worn skimpier outfits than this to take photos for social media, but right now you're the only person in the world who can see me like this. I belong to you. That's a relief, at least. I wonder if she... I wonder if she could get in trouble for floating public decency. Yeah, floating pe public decency laws in a getup like that it's not like she's revealing anything or it's not like she's revealing everything god damn it hostess and bars sometimes wear less i'd rather not risk it though it it caused quite a stir if cosmos moretti the famous rabbit pounder was incarcerated to be simply too lewd and how did you get into my apartment anyway? I thought I locked the door. Don't tell me I forgot. I hope I'm not going senile. I'm not even 30 yet. It was locked, don't worry. That didn't stop me though. No one can get in the way of my love for you. Ah yes, I should have figured. This isn't the first time Cosmos has bypacked my locks and sneaked a Biden into my house. <sighs> She's done it a couple times already, which explains why I'm not more startled than I am. I guess I've become used to it. She freaked me out if for the first time she showed up to my apartment unannounced, but now I know she doesn't mean any harm. She's not a wicked succubus who wants to drain me of my life's expense. She just wants to be my girlfriend. She's pretty pushy about it in there, but her instance is kind of cute. The other sucky boy needs to step up their game or Cosmos will take my heart in one fell swoop. Eh, to be quite honest, with that outfit, I'm pretty sure she already has. <laughs> now granted, the other girls are actually very, very fine. But remember, I even said myself, I, this girl, she's my main girlfriend for a reason. So, duh. Hey, Hiroki, aren't you going to pay a little bit more attention to me? I did come all the way to see you, and I was walking in heels. You should tell me that you love me. You're my boyfriend, so I only want you to look at me. Right, I'm sorry, Cosmos, I'm just... Ah, my voice trails off. Cosmos is holding something in her hand. It looks like a paintbrush. It bristles dripping with brown paint, isn't it? Actually, I'm not too sure about that. It smells a bit sweet to be paint. Is that melted chocolate? Ding, ding, ding. You got it. Well done. Since you're smart, I'll give you a prize. 
I'll cover myself in chocolate and you can lick it off me. It's been so long since we spent any time together. I wanted to do something special. Slowly, Cosmos delves a brown heart upon her cleavage. The bristle presses against her pale body, dying it. I watch on, awed. Forget belly buttons and armpits. This slightly is way this sight is way more erotic than either of those things. So, Hideki, aren't you going to help me? Help you? With what? With my outfit, of course. If this keeps up, it's just gonna get all dirty. I love this bunny girl costume. I think it's really cute. I hate for it to get covered in sticky goopy chocolate. So, you'll have to help me remove it. Does that sound like fun? I'm getting excited, just think about it. Like, should I even be surprised anymore? After the escapade, I washed my food on and scrubbed melted chocolate. <laughs> that for, for as best as I can. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cosmos hops into a shower and she cleans herself. Fortunately, the chocolate comes away quite easily, but she does stain one of my towels brown. At least, she has the wear withdrawn to look guilty about it. It's not like I'm really angry either. It's only a stupid towel. Cosmo's happiness is far more important. By the time we've put everything right, the sun has risen. It's 7 a.m. now. Too late to go back to sleep. I still feel tired, but I decided to go ahead with my promised date. We eat breakfast together in the kitchen and then set off to a nearby art gallery. Cosmo's experiment with melted chocolate must have inspired me. We walked around and examined all the paintings hand to hand to anyone observers. I'm sure we look like any ordinary couple. Oh on a date. Cosmos is wearing cat ears like always, but she doesn't run into any of her adoring fans. Maybe they can't recognize her when she isn't wearing her more risky outfits. She, it doesn't seem like the men and women in the art gallery know Cosmos real identity, either as a social media pop star or as a succubus. I doubt they know everything we did earlier this morning either <laughs> most certainly even i was a little shaken but i was an active participant it doesn't feel quite real but the sensation of cosmos palm of my in my own reassures me that this is my new reality i don't have one wonderful girlfriend, I have five, and I am determined to make them all happy, even if it kills me. I care about them all far too much to choose favorites. To be quite fair, in all seriousness, besides AU, I kinda lied. I do have I do have a favorite between all of them. Marina, Hazel, and even Hafumi, it's hard for me to literally choose. So Aww, she's feeding me again, just like the, in the last series, guys. All right, darling, open wide and say ah. After our trip to the art gallery, Cosmos asked if we could go to this cute cafe. It's a place I have many fond memories of. It was here Cosmos and I had our first real interaction. Well, no, that's not quite right. Our first real interaction was on the train when I was on my way to work, but I don't think that really counts. We didn't really talk. Cosmos just pushed herself against me, more indecently, I might add. Back then, I didn't even know her name. I never imagined that our relationship would escalate as it has, or that we'd even had a relationship, have a relationship. Life sure does work in mysterious ways. She's my girlfriend now, though, and 
it was in this very cute cafe that she confessed her feelings to me. Though she barely knew me, she was certain she loved me. She was interested in a man who had ensnared her exact older sisters, Marina and A.U. So she said that, uh, she decided to nominate herself as my girlfriend. Technically, she's still the only one out of the five succubi I know who's my girlfriend. A.U. calls me her cameraman. Marina calls me her partner. Hafumi calls me her husband. And Hazel calls me her wingman. But Cosmos is probably the most lovey-dovey. She likes holding my hand, sneaking kisses, embracing me, and come on, open up. If you don't, the ice cream will melt. I don't want to waste it. It's really, really good. Well, now, I cross my legs beneath the table. Since I'm kind of tall, my knees bump against the underside of the table, and it shakes, as does my black coffee and Cosmo's extravagant sundae. I swear... For such a skinny girl, Cosmo sure does eat a lot of sweets. I wonder where all her calorie goes, to her chest? That would certainly explain her figure. It's not that big, I'm not that big on sweets myself. I bought that sundae, so you can enjoy it. Not me. But you're not eating anything since breakfast. You'll go hungry, Cosmo pouts. Let me look after you. It's what a girlfriend's supposed to do. You get so insisted about the strangest of things. I know I'm strange, but I don't think this is. Cosmo pounced. You're my boyfriend, and I want to look after you. That's normal. At least, I think it's normal. A lot of girls do stuff like this with their partners. Guess you're right there, and there's nothing wrong with wanting to make your significant other happy. That's right. Cosmo nods enthusiastically. A few drops of half-melted ice cream drips from the spoon and lands on the table. I'm glad we're on the same page. You are my significant other, and you are very, very significant to me. Uh, you have a big place in my heart. You make me happy, so I want to make you happy in return. Ice cream makes me happy, so it would make you happy. Now eat. Now Cosmo jabs the spoon in my direction. Eat from the spoon that was in my mouth and swallow the saliva. <laughs> Why is she saying this? <laughs> oh my god. And then swallow my saliva along with the gooey melted ice cream. It'll taste really good. You think your saliva tastes good. It, can, it can't taste bad or I'll gag every time I swallow. Fair enough. Oh my god, the innuendo's just then. <laughs> Maybe you could do that, do what Hafumi does, and sell your bottle spit. I hear it's very lucrative. Hafumi sells her spit, and Kozakamasaki, uh, yeah. It's a special kind of sake made from f fermented spit? Wow. Cosmos. Bro uh, brow furrows. Hifumi is more degenerate than I thought. I don't... I don't know if degenerate is the right word. It's a very dignified ancient Japanese art. Do you really think I'm dignified, Hideki? Ah! Uh, <laughs> uh, I think you're adorable. I think you're adorable. Even more when even more so when you get all pouty i nudge cosmo's foot beneath the table i'm not big on sweets like i said but i have no problem with your spit even and i bet the kind i bet the ice cream will taste pretty good when fled to me by a total cutie like you eh Cosmos blinks her big shiny eyes. Her face turned an adorable shade of pink as I slipped the ice cream from her spoon. She was the one who suggested, nay, demanded, that we share a spoon. But it looks like she's getting flustered. Hideki, you, um, 
Cosmo shifts her seat. She drops the spoon on the table with a clatter and then surveys me beneath her eyelashes. Do you really think I'm adorable? I swallow all the ice cream with a shudder. I was right. It is too sweet. Yeah, smile. Of course I do. You're the best. Uh, what? The, the best? Cosmo cups her cheeks with her hands. I've never been told that before. Well, you better get used to it, because I'm going to keep saying it. Don't forget, I like you a lot. If I didn't, we wouldn't be able to go on a date right now. What? Cosmo squeaks. Well, I did assume you must like me. It's strange, though. Aren't you getting used to being like? You're one of the most popular creators on Rapid Pound. You must get compliments every single day. I do, but the kindness of strangers, though, appreciate it. Isn't the same as your kindness? When, uh, those people complimented me, they usually talk about my body. They don't know about me as a person. So, they can't talk about my personality. As well as they call me sexy. Uh, they don't often call me cute. Good! Then this will be a thing between me and you. Your fans can call you sexy all they want, but I call you cute. And I want to see all the sides of you that you don't show to anybody else. We can go on the dates together, and uh, I do all the sappy couple things with you as do you like. You can feed me in public, and we can link arms. We can do whatever you want, if that makes you happy. What? No. That isn't how this works. Cosmo pouts and kicks me under the table. <laughs> I'm supposed to make you happy, but I want to make you happy. But I'm your girlfriend, it's my job. No, it's not, don't talk like that. I don't know. I don't want you thinking of this as a chore. I want you only to do this with me if you want to. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I'm more worried if I'm forcing you. I've never dated anybody before, and there's a lot of things I don't understand. There's a lot of things I want to do with you, too. Being with you is exciting, but I'm afraid I'm too demanding. I don't want to make you uncomfortable. You don't, and if you do, I tell you. I ruffle the top of Cosmo's head. Don't worry. We can't all be experienced with these things. They'll come with time, and we have plenty of that. It's not like I have plenty to break up with you. Oh, Hideki. Thank you. Cosmo smiles. You really are nice. I appreciate it a lot. You're so good to me. It makes me worry. What about? About what will happen if you have to leave me? What? Why would I ever do that? Don't you believe me when I say I want to be with you? I know I've been busy with work lately, but I really do, really do want to stay by your side. <laughs> Cosmo giggles. You say you don't like sweets, but you're a pretty good sweet talker yourself. Your words are even more sugary than my Sunday. Hearing me, hearing that just makes me happy. Marina always scolds me and AU teased me, but I think you understand me. You're so nice, but you've ensnared many hearts. It seems inevitable she'll notice. Then she might get jealous if she takes you from me. Cosmo's brow furrows. She dips her head, her expression troubled. Well, I just hope that doesn't happen. I don't want to say goodbye to you. I love you way too much. Well, that's where I'm going to have to end it here. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. If you guys want to see more, make sure to leave a like. Also, hit that subscribe button. If you are new to the channel, follow all of my links in the description. Please make sure to do that. Follow my Twitter, follow my Instagram, follow my Twitch, my Discord, and the Creator's Crib server will be in the description as well. Make sure you guys go check that out. It's been Zed, guys. Later.